what's up everybody this is mma rant here tonight to talk about this daggone fool tj dillashaw he was on mma fighting on sbn today uh he was on the phone with ariel hawani and he was talking about just some crazy shit man this dude i mean this dude's a clown for real i mean he's on there first of all talking about how he was basically shocked and surprised that he didn't get the uh, rematch with um, Dominic Cruz, you know, and he he couldn't explain uh, basically what him and the UFC brass talked about when they actually had a meeting uh, to discuss this. You know, all he was saying was that basically he met with them, uh, the UFC, uh, for about 45 minutes and he left the meeting feeling like he was going to get the title shot you know uh to me that sounded kind of wishy-washy i'm like this dude's probably fucking lying about this shit i mean it, he lies about every damn thing you know so then he goes on again to talk about how he was shocked and kind of upset that uriah favor got the title shot but then ariel hawani asked tj dillashaw you know hey who would you root for in this fight you know knowing that you have some bad blood or history with both fighters and tj says you know what um i know me and uriah is going through some things here but i i would still pull for him to win i want him to win so as soon as he said that <laughs> ariel Hawani is he's a fool man he's slick as hell as soon as he said that he turned around and asked tj actually he didn't ask him anything he told tj dillashaw about a incident where uriah favor basically said that in his uh last championship fight he kind of looked like a little boy his body looked like a little boy trying to insinuate that uh you know he's been on steroids and that's how he's looking now post usada takeover tj dillasaw did not like that shit at all he did not like what ariel hawani just told him so then ariel <laughs> asked him now knowing that you know who would you root for now and uh tj was like i don't even know man i don't even know basically he was like if i'd have known you Ryan said that shit about me i wouldn't pick for him to win that just shows how damn two-faced his ass is you know and then he goes on and talks about how he felt so bad when he left left the team in california to go with uh dwayne lugwit uh, to uh, that damn muscle farm camp up there talking about how he was crying and it was a sad day and shit like that like yeah right dude you sitting here knowing you just made yourself look like a fool picking who you wanted to win the fight now you're trying to reflect the shit back on you trying to make yourself look like you're a good guy when everybody knows you're a damn snake so then he goes on talking about how uh, he was brought on to the uh, tough uh, show as a setup saying that um, uh, Uriah Faber just brought him on there so that him and Conor McGregor could sit there and get on him uh, about his move to uh, the new fight camp. And I'm like, what the hell is this dude talking about, man? No one makes you do anything when you're a grown-ass man. The same way you left Team Alpha Male to go up the damn that damn up in the damn mountains with Dwayne Lugwit, your ass could have left that damn tough uh, show if you didn't want really want to be there actually your ass didn't even have to show up in the first place your ass went there for publicity your ass ain't getting no publicity off of it because uriah faber and conor mcgregor are bigger stars than your little lame sorry ass will ever be you know so that backfired on him he looked back at the show and realized his dumb ass looked stupid on there but to make a long story short his ass don't deserve a title shot you know he got a good record he's got a 12 and 3 record but it's a false 12 and 3 record. Excuse me. But, you know, he ain't really fought nobody. He stepped in on last call, stepped up to fight the champ, Hannah Burrell, for the belt. He didn't work his way up to get to that belt. He is what I call a damn flip flop champion. Basically, he beat Hannah Burrell twice. And then when it was time to basically defend his belt, he lost it. So he doesn't deserve a rematch with uh, Dominic Cruz. He is not a money fight guy, you know. He's not going to bring any money in. You know how the UFC is doing things these days. They're picking the fights that the fans want to see and the fights that's going to bring in the most money. And TJ Boring Dillashaw wouldn't bring in shit. His ass, I, I believe the last two times he fought Hannibal Rowell, it was on free TV. 
And then the only reason why this fight was on pay-per-view that he was in against Dominic Cruz is because Dominic Cruz was the man. You know, so TJ Dillashaw, you should continue to be a free TV fighter, like Conor McGregor would say, you know, and do your thing there. But, you know, he needs to step up and fight somebody and whip their asses so he can get another title shot. You know, I'm thinking maybe he should be fighting that dude, uh, Rafael Asanko. That dude has a 23 and 4 record. I believe he did beat uh, TJ Dillashaw about three years ago. So, and he, that dude right now is in the runnings for a title shot. So go fight that dude, the dude that beat your ass three years ago. Fight him and see what you can do. If you can beat him, then yeah, you deserve a title shot. But bottom line, shut your bitch ass up. Stop being paranoid. Continue to be the fake ass snake you are. And go to hell on back up there with Dwayne Ludwig. Subscribe, leave a like, hit the thumbs up, leave a comment. Thanks.